For the next 60 seconds, we have seized control of your mind. Your body no longer occupies space. Your entire being now is a beam of pure consciousness, located early in the Earth year 1955. The winds of time change are about to sweep you forward through an incredible 20 plus years. The years of the evolution of rock. Ready, set, go. You have just warped through the most exciting, most monumental 22 years in the history of Earth. The span known as the evolution of rock. No other comparable era in recorded history has had anywhere near the profound effect on today's way of life as did this incredible quarter century. Now, for the very first time, a radio programming event as earth-shaking as the years it documents is about to happen. The evolution of of rock. Elvis is trying to sing for you the theme song of the new 20th Century Fox picture, and later in the evening, I want you to meet Robert Webb, who directed it. Now, the song, as he does it in the picture, Love Me Tender, is when his three brothers have come home from the Confederate armies. He's the younger brother who's been left back home, and he sings this song to his mother and his young bride. This is Love Me Tender. <laughs> I was the first country and western singer uh, to dare, shall we say, to sing rhythm and blues songs. There would never be replacements for Buddy Holly, Richie Valens, and the Big Bopper. The scales had tipped. Rock and roll began to slide. Looking at the charts for 59... You can't help but notice the abundance of old standards being dressed up in rock and roll glitter and exposed to a completely new generation. Several brief but notable careers were built on the foundations of old, traditional pop tunes. New Jersey vocalist Sammy Turner being a perfect example. And we want to keep trouble out of Jersey City. The pressure was more intense. The put-downs more vicious. If you talk to the average teenager of today and you ask them what it is about rock and roll music that they like, and they'll, the first thing they'll say is the beat, the beat, the beat. Boogie, boogie, boogie. Got to boogie down. Discos have become one of the biggest entertainment phenomenons of the 70s. If anybody hoped it was true, it was Diana Ross. One of the major black powers of the 60s, she was about to get her feet wet all over again in a whole new puddle, taking her virgin run at disco with Love Hangover. There's a cure for this. I don't want it. But don't want it. Yes, it's gonna be a cold, lonely summer. But I'll feel the emptiness. North America. The Beatles are everywhere in 64. By April, the Beatles claim the top five songs on the nation's pop charts. I came here today. I'm not going to scream. I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to do anything. The first hit in the States, which was I Want to Hold Your Hand, was actually about our fourth or fifth single. There was Time and Newsweek and Life started 
catching on and writing about it, and it was at that point where Capital said, OK, we're interested. So Brian Epstein did a deal. Yeah, boy, about a lucky man who made the grave. to the record companies and the artists for allowing us to bring to you the original recordings of these very precious songs. Thank you. God bless you. Good night. My love. 1959, the year that the Edsel flops and everyone flips for Kooky and his immortal comb. 1959, from pink shoelaces to poison ivy. And of course, who will forget heavy dates and cruising the main drag? This is 1959. And it goes like this. You are it. Every night, I hope you pray. You come my way. And I wrote the song from that. And from what I thought was obviously the point of view of the students, which was, welcome back. Ah, ha, ha. Welcome back. Your dreams were your ticket out. You're hearing segments from The Evolution of Rock, the first complete chronological up-to-date documentary ever produced. Brilliantly narrated by Chuck Riley, The Evolution of Rock is already a monumental event. Tom Jones demonstrated the technique to a T in She's a Lady. She's a Lady was written by Paul Anka. The only problem with Paul now is that he's recording his own material. It's an up-tempo song, but it's a good song. But she's all you'd ever want. She's the kind of and take to dinner. Tom Jones's fifth gold single, She's a Lady. The ex coal miner was enjoying an incredible success story. Why? First of all, it must be the voice, because I was selling records before people saw me uh, on stage. When he talks of success, he's talking about more than 100 million records sold by 1971. He's talking about being the man most wanted by older women hot to trot for a rock star they could relate to. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Tom Jones. They took Mr. Personality and put him on TV. That cinched it. When those millions of American ladies saw that one hunk of Welshman hopping around their color TV in a jumpsuit, they wanted him. Has anybody got a handkerchief or something? Or something? There you are. Oh. All right, all right. Everything all right? In Vegas, one woman came up on the stage and ripped a bra off. You know, opened the front of a dress up and just ripped it straight off and handed it to me. And uh, I wiped my face and didn't give it her back. So then this girl that was standing behind her thought that she didn't want to be outdone. So she jumped on the stage and she just took a hot pants off and handed them to me. Teenage girls had no time to react to the older girls reacting to Tom Jones. They had their own British idol, Mick Jagger, who was still number one with them. In 1971... He and the Rolling Stones released their first new single in almost two years, Brown Sugar. The Evolution of Rock is a 64-hour rock documentary that for the first time tells the entire 22-year history of rock music in chronological order, from the inside out. The Evolution of Rock, by virtue of its scope, stands alone. But that wasn't enough. We wanted it to be as fantastic a production as the history it documented. As a result, over three and a half years of international cooperative effort, over 150 hours of rare tapes, previously unaired interviews, 1,000 hit songs, and unheard of industry cooperation have yielded a masterpiece. Contained on 64 discs, the program is divided into one four-hour introductory chapter and 20 three-hour segments. There has never been a program this big, this versatile. The evolution of rock. The music that made the world turn round. You'll hear the behind-the-scenes stories with actual interviews and rare original recordings. From rock's roots to its complex branches, you'll hear it all. The evolution of rock.